Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler. Welcome to my TTM Monday Autograph Recap video. Last week, the week of June 25th, 2023, I received 51 autographs from 14 people. Which is good, because I've been sending out 10 requests or more per week for quite a while. In fact, I've been actively TTMing for just over 9 years now. And I've sent out... 25 requests the previous two weeks because I want to have a lot of returns this summer. So I'm going to show you the items in the order with which I received them, how long it took, how many items I sent, if I sent a donation, and roughly how many times I've been sending these out in the nine years of TTMing. I will not give out addresses though as those can easily be found. I like to use SCN or SCF. First up, we have a first timer. Three of three in 34 days. We got West Stock. Got him here on the 60, the 61, and the 63. It makes me wonder if he has a 62, but that's okay. Next up, we're going to jump to football. I've been doing lots of vintage. It's my favorite thing to send out, and uh, this video is going to show a lot of it. So we got a first-time football one. Not as old as those baseball cards. We got Doug Plank. Seems like a pretty gracious signer as he uh, hit the autograph card pretty well. And the index card. I think that's really cool when they do that. I don't ask them to sign the index card, but if they do, that's great. That's index cards for protection purposes. But next up, another football player, first timer. We got Steve O'Neill. Did 3 of 3 in 13 days. Yeah, Doug Plank was 4 of 3 in 13 days. Steve O'Neill was 3 of 3 in 13 days. I only had one. I actually had two of these, but didn't know for sure if he was going to do duplicates, so I sent one of them, plus the team card where he is on the checklist, and another autograph card. Very cool. Next up is a first timer. Let's go back to baseball. Three of two in 34 days. When I say three of two, that means they signed an extra item which is usually the index card. Though one of the former Pirates did something awesome. You'll see that toward the end. So we got Bart Shirley. Pretty sure Mr. Goosen's not with us, so that card's done. Love how he wrote best wishes, Bart Shirley. That blue Sharpie just pops with that blue uniform, that blue sky in the background. Good stuff. Thank you, Stephen, for asking. Yep, the best to you and yours, Bart Surly, L.A. Dodgers, New York Mets. Next up, we have a Hall of Famer. First time I ever sent to him, the first time I was going to send to him is right when he jumped from $10 to $20. And that was, that was a while ago. Over a year, I'm thinking. But then I decide, what the heck? One of one, 13 days, $20 donation. We got Anthony Munoz on his rookie card. Great Big autograph, Anthony Munoz, Hall of Fame 98. That's a good one. That, that, that should have been a long time ago. Shame on me for waiting so long. So those were all first-timers for me. We're on my sixth return. This is not a first-timer. In fact, this next batch are going to be a lot of Pirates, former Pirates. We got Doc Medic. 4 of 4. Doc Medic, 4 of 4. In only seven days, this is a high number. Yep, 608. I know Busby signs. Never heard of Dick Cole part. And I will look into that. Honestly, if if he doesn't sign, I'll just leave this as is. Try to find another one and send out to Mr. Busby. Have it signed individually. But yeah, he did four of four in seven days. So... That previous week, when I sent out 25 requests, I sent out 25 pirates. <laughs> and you're going to see a lot of pirates coming in now. Next up, oh gosh, I send to him about twice a year. Five of five, seven days. He's a $5 donation. He's only $1 per car. We got Sid Bream, who had that very painful slide. Let's not talk about that. This is on a Rediscover tops a little buyback action there it's in blue which looks awesome with blue sharpie on it as well plus four more usually don't send him any cards from when he had a braves uniform so i sent a couple this time just like i did a couple the last time 
All right, this next one is a four of four. I send to him two, three times a year. And I always send him a $10 bill, whether I send him three cards or four cards. I send him 10 bucks. He deserves it. In fact, he just got announced not terribly long ago he will be in the 2023 Pirates Hall of Fame, the second year of them having Pirates Hall of Fame. We have four, four, seven days, ten dollars. We have Elroy Face. And all of these cards are pretty cool in some way because that's 64. That's a high number. So that's not a real cheap card by any means. I think this was in the 60s. Fleer made these All-Star Game cards. And 1959 is the year he was in the All-Star Game. It was also held at Forbes Field. So, I mean, there was two All-Star Games. One was in Forbes Field and one was in, uh, oh, it's right there. Memorial Coliseum out in L.A. And this is cool. It's a business card. El Roy Face Carpentry. Game Rooms and Kitchens. Uh, th this, Like I said, this is so stinking awesome. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and I, this wasn't my only one. Whew. And then, on the 67 top sticker. Now, I have to be honest. I bought a batch of these. I sent almost every one of them out. They were all used stickers. Someone peeled them off, put them onto some paper. They drew on the back of the paper. So this is a, we'll call this an altered card but they're so beautiful all right next up i've been sending the, this next person two three times a year he's ten dollars per four of four eight days and all these cards are pretty cool in their own way too we got bill mazeroski this, this is a pretty loaded video here we go on the 60 i think it's 61 or 63 fleer i don't know it's all good it's all good it's beautiful Got him on the top stand up. Not long ago, I posted my video of me picking this card up, and it's back. And it's got ink on it. Yes. Bought this stamp. Love how it had this little extra on it, which gave more room for him to sign. And on the 61 card here, celebrating his... Game 7, walk-off, home run. Yeah. Next up's another pirate, nowhere near as popular. It has the uh, Mazeroski for face, or Bream, or Medic. But, 4 of 3, as he signed in the next card, in only 9 days, we got John Moreland. I believe this is his only playing day card. This is the only card he has. The 75, but I also had the 75 mini. And the 75 team card. So there we go. Not only, not only did he sign the index card, but he wrote, Steve, thanks for your request. And then he underlined it. Each word, that's cool. He then took a small paper clip and paper clipped them all together, but it didn't really cause any damage So to the cards. A little bit to the index card. In fact, you can see the paper clip outline, but that's okay. That's okay, man. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we still got four more requests to show. This is number 11 coming up. Here's another member of the 1960 World Series Pirates. Four of three as he spanks. Those index cards and the cards too. Ten days, twenty-five dollar donation. We got Vern Law. My gosh! Not only did he win this World Series, obviously in 1960, but Cy Young, two-time All-Star, Lou Gehrig Award, Comeback Player of the Year, 1965. I mean, dang, Vern Law, you're the best. My gosh. This was high number as well. Ah, eh, semi-high number. A semi-high number still a high number. So that's not a real cheap card either. Got a nasty crease right there across his name. But hey, it's all right. And there's a 67 top sticker. Pretty sure I have a nice one of these. But like I said, this one was peeled off and put onto something and then someone cut it up. To, whatever. But there it is. Displays well on the front. And there's that index card. Next up, this was really cool. He included an extra card, wrote a tiny note, and wrote his first name, so I count that. 
six of four in ten days, I send to him about once a year. And the very first time I sent to this person, I sent him a five dollar bill with three cards. And you know he he wrote a note saying he didn't have to do that, but you know he's a gracious guy. Wow. He included this card. I sent him four cards. No cards were Pirates, but in my note, I made sure to mention that, you know, you played for my favorite team, the Pittsburgh Pirates, and he included that. So here's the four cards that I sent. The Astros, the Expos, back to the Astros and the Expos. I included a Pirate one for you. Darn it, these people are so good. Thank you, Ron. All right. Next up, we have a first-timer. Let's go back to some football action. Vintage football, 3 of 3, 18 days. Mac, Percival. I had two cards of his, and he was clearly signing a little more. He would do three for sure. Since I found a team card with his name on it, I went for it, and bam. Nice. And finally... Three of three, 18 days. I send to this person about once a year. But honestly, I think this is the third time I've ever sent to him. Jerry Philbin. Won some early Super Bowl, or Super Bowl back in the day. Yeah, nice card. And dang, these look nice. All that blue there, too, with a blue Sharpie. Please let me know in the comments below was your favorite. There was a lot of good ones here. I'm not even going to put my favorites out there. But um, I upload three videos a week. A TTM video on Monday and an autograph and a trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And dang, I'm excited to show this video and that was a lot of fun to do. Take care, everybody.